Have you ever noticed how few people have really good strong teeth? And how many have decaying teeth like these? Good teeth don't just happen. They are the result of constant care and attention. Yurst will tell you that one of the most important things in building strong teeth is eating the right foods. Foods like raw fruits and vegetables which provide the vitamins and minerals necessary for growing teeth. And plenty of milk because it is rich in calcium which builds strong bones and teeth. Eggs, cheese and butter also because they contain the vitamins needed for good teeth. As a child grows, so do his jaws, and spaces appear between the front teeth. Beneath the baby teeth, the permanent ones are being formed. And at about six or seven years, the four baby front teeth loosen and fall out, making way for the permanent ones to come through. This is how they should have developed. With care, everyone could have attractive teeth. But unfortunately, some of us are careless. Here is a girl of 17 who has lost many of her back teeth. Her front ones are decaying and will have to come out soon unless they are cared for immediately. She cannot chew her food properly. And with the food, she swallows the poisonous discharge from her bad teeth. This makes her tired and listless. From her bad teeth pass into the bloodstream and carried to every part of the body, causing poor health and often serious illness. But of course, even good teeth will decay if they are neglected. Suppose we see just how a tooth does decay. A tooth has two parts, the crown above the gums and the root below. Food particles cling to the teeth after swallowing, and even the movement of the tongue and cheeks can't shift them. Since it is this food sticking to the teeth that causes decay, each crumb must be got rid of as soon as possible. Fruit or raw vegetables will do this better than anything else. These are the cleansing foods, and everyone should eat them after each meal. But they won't do you a bit of good if you eat sticky foods again in between meals. Brushing the teeth and gums regularly is very important. Clean them morning and night, and after meals, whenever it is possible. The most important time of all is last thing at night. Now, a few points on how to clean the teeth properly. Use a short, medium-hard brush. These bristles will get in between the teeth very well without hurting the gums. Use any toothpaste or powder your dentist recommends. Or you can buy very cheaply from your druggist a mixture of precipitated chalk and sodium bicarbonate with some flavoring added to give it a pleasant taste. This will do the job just as well. There are more ways than one of using a toothbrush. Brushing across the teeth like this is no good at all. You can't get in between them properly. If you wanted to clean in between your fingers, you wouldn't brush across them. In spite of all this care, small cavities will occur in your teeth from time to time. So you should visit your dentist regularly for a checkup. Often, a cavity is small to cause pain and cannot be seen or felt until it has grown much larger. But the dentist will find it, and he can take care of it much more easily than this large hole which has been so neglected that the tooth may have to come out. Don't wait until your teeth get that bad before...